how much water did you use today for drinking, shower or a bath? Imagine having to cut your consumption by a quarter. That's what millions of Californians are facing, compulsory cutbacks. It's the first time the state has imposed such an order. Farmers will be exempt, and we will have much more on this in just a short while. And when we think about the drought problem, Drought in California and no end in sight. The hammer has come down on water use. For the first time, the governor ordered Californians to slash water consumption by 25 percent. Yeah, definitely a concern. I mean, it's, you know, water is a big part of our lives. So. I mean, you have to. I mean, I'm being restricted. I mean, from toilet usage of water to, you know, just water in your own grass. The mandatory restrictions also call for replacing 50 million acres of lawn with drought-tolerant landscaping, issuing more and steeper fines to water abusers, and raising water rates for heavy users, like those in the exclusive neighborhood of Beverly Hills. Residents here use nearly four times more water per person, 256 gallons every day. Long before the mandatory orders, conservation advocates had been trying to raise drought awareness. Last year, Los Angeles waterkeepers started the Dirty Car Pledge, which asks people not to wash their cars for 60 days. And what we see is once people take this pledge, they start to think about the drought, and then they think, oh, well, what else can I do at home? The governor's executive order, however, did not include water restrictions for the agricultural industry, which uses 80 percent of the state's water. Nick Vias of the University of Southern California Marshall School of Business says the imbalance of water use versus the economic contribution by agriculture, which is 2 percent of California's GDP, has to be scrutinized. If I'm growing an alfalfa sprout and I'm exporting that and uses a billion gallon, albeit my profit is high because I'm exporting to China, Middle East, an emerging market, but it's investing billion gallons of water makes sense. And there's also the issue of water's low costs due to government subsidies to corporate farms. So if I stop giving the subsidies for the water and let the market play out the right cost for the water, subsequently the price would be higher. And then the demand will actually be impacted. With scientists already predicting that 2016 and even 2017 will be dry years here in California, there's no doubt that more restrictions will be imposed. But without more awareness and more action taken by everyone across the board, this drought crisis could turn into a catastrophe. May Lee, CCTV, Los Angeles.